New tonight, a push to break the cycle of incarceration for the next generation. A nonprofit transforming Anson Correction Institution into a trade school. This is what it looks like. Well, the group is working to give kids with incarcerated parents a different choice. WCNC Charlotte's Tradisha Woodard shares how they're seeking solutions to guide those most vulnerable further away from the prison pipeline. What was once a former prison facility, now a beacon of hope, with a goal of helping kids who are at risk build a brighter future. The past, it can sometimes strangle the present, with data showing a child with a parent in prison has a higher chance of also ending up in a cell. We are failing to see the fastest growing Population is not the guys coming back into prison, it's the children of inmates. Cyril Prabhu with Proverbs 226 says, it's a reality that weighs heavy, with data from North Carolina Health News showing more than 20,000 kids with incarcerated parents here in North Carolina. It's just alarming. History that can't be rewritten. Now the local nonprofit giving them something even better. We need to bring education back into the life of these children. A pin to tell the stories of their futures. We're going to have five trades. We're going to start with welding from digital arts so they will know how to do uh, a video and audio editing. A mission that starts in this building filled with history. Once a prison in place of confinement, now a building filled with hope and opportunities. So this is like a, the welding machine. The five and two trade school aims to stop generational incarcerations through education, from prison to trade, from despair to empowerment. We seem to have lost that vision for education. We need to change that. Now this school is set to open October 15th and will be free for all students. If you're interested in learning more details about registration, you can log on to our website at WCNC.com. Reporting in Anson County, Tradisha Woodard, WCNC Charlotte.